Okay guys, so we're gonna do a quick setup of the Mavic 2 Pro. This uh, is my Mavic 2 Pro in the Fly More combo. A uh, little bit extra cost, well worth it in my opinion. Uh, a nice little carrying case, extra batteries, a charging hub, some extra propellers, some extra cables, all that in one additional package. Uh, I use this so that I can use it as a carry-on, take all my stuff with me on the plane, works out really nicely or anywhere else I need to go. So a simple little Velcro stra uh, pad. We open up the top, you can see very compact, everything inside. The drone itself, completely folded up, prop still on it. So literally, to get it ready to go, all we're doing is opening up the legs like we talked about. Slide that out of the way take off the gimbal protector. You never want to leave this on when you're powering the drone up. It actually restricts the movement of the gimbal and you can burn out the motors. So make sure this guy comes off. Looks like it's for protection and it is, but not during operation. So with him sitting this way, make sure he balances out. We're good to go. The props, you can leave them folded and on startup when you actually arm it, they'll spin, centrifugal force will throw them out or you can adjust them yourself and set them out that way. Pull our radio out. Everything's super compact and small again. We're gonna open up the antennas, slide out the device arms, pull out the gimbal sticks, screw them in place. We're good to go. And now before we turn on, obviously you wanna put your device in. We can deal with Apple devices or Android devices stock it comes with a small cable that fits right here on the side of the radio i'm not a big fan of that cable i find it a little fragile um, and sometimes it can lose connection um, i did buy additional cables um, aftermarket that you can put on there and use that same port i prefer to keep that for charging myself there is a usb port underneath in the back here and you can plug a full usb into that and then run into your device. So your Apple Lightning cables, your USB-C or mini HDMI cables all run to whatever device you're running from that USB connection and make it a little more solid of a connection. And that's how I prefer to run mine. There are a lot of options and functions and lots of people are making accessories for this drone. One of the things that I like the most, and there are lots of different brands, lots of different versions. This is a very simple device that I like to use. Rather than using my cell phone, wouldn't it be nicer to use a much larger piece of real estate, a tablet, rather than a phone? And a tablet isn't gonna fit inside of this small bracket down here. So what's nice about this is this frame down here is the same size roughly as a phone, and it can snap right into the device holder like that, nice and solid. Your entire tablet now fits on there and with your standard USB cable, plug right in to the tablet, right into the side. And now I have a solid device where I have a much larger view of what my drone is doing, a solid connection control, a lanyard for around my neck, a little more stability and a little more safety and a lot easier to use. So we have the drone ready, we have the radio ready, now it's just time to get in the air. So we're gonna take the drone, find a nice level open spot, place him on the ground, and you wanna make sure there's not a lot of tall grass or anything that would restrict the movement of the gimbal in the front. So the first thing we wanna do is turn on the radio, and with all DJI products, it's a single push, a release, and then a long push. Click, click and hold. You get that tone for it being on. Then we're going to activate the DJI Go app. And as that boots up, it's gonna say it's looking for the aircraft. Now it's time to turn on the aircraft. So again, push, release, push and hold. You see the motors kick as the ESCs go. The camera begins to calibrate and we get the tones for the ESC. Now we're connected, so we take a few steps back. We go into the app by hitting the go fly button and the app calibrates for us. We have aircraft status, which gives us all the information we need about the aircraft itself. 
if there's anything that is a problem, it will show up in red. So here we can see that everything's fine, no problems there. We can go ahead and close that out. And now we have two options. We can either manually take off, which will be both sticks down and in, and then you release, it causes the drone to spin up. Now it will not take off from that mode until I give it throttle and actually lift it up off the ground. So then throttle back down gently and it will land. And as I keep holding down, it then kills the motors. Uh, so the other option is an auto takeoff where on the app, you push the takeoff button. It asks if it's safe to take off. You move the slider. The drone will then arm, take off, and hover at that altitude. Aero TV is brought to you by there's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115-horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com.